Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am filming a what's in my law school bag video. It was highly requested on my Instagram when I asked everybody like kind of what more content they wanted to see. So yeah, let's get into it. I still want to put a disclaimer out that I don't use a book bag. I don't know why. I don't like book bags. So I just want to let you know that if I was using a book bag, I could probably carry a lot more things in my bag. But because I am using this like cute little tote bag, I can't put a lot in it and it would be a lot like on my one shoulder. So I also had to accommodate for that. I just don't like book bags, but a lot of people in law school wear book bags. And that's totally fine. I just wanted to see that. So first off, I'm going to start with everything that I kind of just carry for like essentials. So obviously I have my water bottle. I just carry it around all day. You gotta stay hydrated, it keeps me awake, things like that. Um, in addition to that, I have my pencil case and this keeps all of my pens and highlighters in it. I also keep hand sanitizer because of the pandemic. Um, and so always keeping hand sanitizer in my bag. Um, I just keep it in the pencil case because sometimes it gets thrown around in my purse. In addition to that, I have post-its in my pencil case just for easy access. I obviously have more at home. Um, and then in here I have assortment of color highlighters, um, pens, different color pens, things like that. I think I got this little pencil case from Target for like 12 bucks. I actually think it's supposed to be a makeup case, but I really like the color, so I'm using it as a pencil case. I have these little meal prep containers that I use um, to pack my lunch in for school. I live off campus, so if I have breaks in between classes, it makes sense for me to just stay on campus. And so with that, to save money because it gets expensive, I am definitely bringing lunch a lot of the days that I am staying on campus. So those are just really cute, simple, and easy to just bring on campus. I also have my phone charger just because, like I said, on campus all day, you always want to make sure that your phone is fully charged. In addition to that, I have my laptop charger, same thing, want to make sure my laptop is fully charged, especially if I'm in between classes and I want to study. I also have wet wipes. Going back to the hand sanitizer, it's a pandemic. Um, I don't think that the, well I know for a fact that the seats at where we sit in our classrooms are not sanitized and disinfected between each class. So I have this pack of wet wipes that I bring and I wipe down the microphone in class. I wipe down the surface and everything like that. I also bring these to the library um, to do the exact same thing. And obviously I have my wallet, um, standard things, credit card, debit card, and my student ID as well. And now we're gonna get into things that actually make it possible for me to study and have my life together. So I'm gonna start off with my planner. I originally started off this semester with a much more bulkier planner, but I needed to save space in my bag and I just didn't think that that was necessary. So this one is 2021 to 2022, obviously, and it has enough space for me to write down my daily tasks. Um, I really like it. This bookmark was actually from the planner I first started off with. Um, and I kind of just swapped it over. I like this one because it has a calendar at the at, or beginning of each month so I can write down important dates. And as you can see, there's nothing in there for October yet, but my September one is kind of there. I got this from Amazon. It is a blue sky planner, and I don't think it was more than like 20 bucks. So now I have this folder and in the folder, I have had this folder since college, but in the folder, I just keep hard copies of all of my syllabi in here, just so that when I'm planning out my week, I don't have to keep going back to my computer to look. So it's just the syllabi and it just lets me know uh, what readings I have to do for each class. 
In addition to that, lately I've been bringing both my iPad and laptop to school. And the reason why is because I really like to read on my iPad, I'm finding out. And so when I do read at school on my iPad, I make sure that I bring this extra case because the case that I have on my iPad right now is the, um, the magnetic keyboard one. And so I can't really write and put down um, the iPad on a flat surface and highlight and things like that. The app that I use to take notes um, is GoodNotes sometimes, but sometimes I also use OneNote. And so I've been using OneNote lately. It kind of looks like this if you guys want to see. Um, and so I'm just able to go ahead and annotate and make markings on the PDFs. And on my iPad, I'm not able to have two windows of OneNote open at one time, but on my laptop I am. And that brings me into why I bring my laptop to school. Um, during class, I use the laptop so that I'm not that like person that has an iPad and a laptop open during class. So during class, I have the text with the actual cases up on one window and on the right, I have my notes as well. Um, so like I said, bring my laptop to school as well. And for the class that I am using an actual case book for, which is my contracts, class I do have the case book I wanted to try out different methods this semester just to see what I liked so I am using a actual hardcover book for my contracts course and for torts and sift pro I am reading them on my iPad digitally and I also felt like it would be a good break for my eyes as I get into kind of how I'm studying I'm going to show you like how I use post-it notes and things like that so this is my contracts book as I said I don't put this in my bag, I normally carry it with me. And then we have lockers at school, so I put this in the locker after class. And I actually just got this master lock for it so that I can start using it on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, this is my contracts book and I rented this book, so I wanted, we're allowed to mark it up, but I just wanted to minimize how much I'm writing in the book. So because of that, I have these post-it notes, as you can see, and that's why I keep them in my pencil case. Um, I have a lifetime supply of them, thanks to my mom. As you can see, these are not even open yet. And in addition to that, I have these flags, and I'm using these because sometimes it's really hard to keep track of pages for so many classes. So I want to be able to have easy access to the case or wherever the assigned reading was for that day. And as you can see, I did it. I have a pink one right here because this is the re assigned reading for my contracts class on Thursday. And in addition to that, sometimes you cannot get access um, digitally to some of your books. So this is my supplement for um, Civ Pro. Well, it's not really a supplement, it's actually required. And so I have this as well, but this is mine. So I marked it like all up. And yeah, so now we are going into kind of just like the pens and highlighters that I use. I love G2, specifically the 0.7 fine ones. So um, I use red to write notes in books, in case books, um, or if I'm taking notes on paper, then I like to distinguish the red to mean that that is what's being taught in class, right? Like those are what the professor is pointing out. And um, most of the time though, if I'm writing, I use black pens. And so this is just extra because I use the pens a lot, especially in my planner. And then I also have another lifetime supply of highlighters, thanks to my mom again. Um, this is just because obviously I'm probably gonna run out, especially when it comes time to outline and things like that. Even though I'm only using one case book, I noticed that highlighters just run out super quickly. And so Staples was having a sale and I just got what I needed. Obviously, everybody has different study methods, and depending on if you are reading your cases online or in the actual case book, your law school bag is going to look very different. For me, I just want to be able to have easy access to all of my things and have the essentials, which is like food, water, hand sanitizer, mask, obviously, wet wipes, things like that. And then I really have everything that I need in my iPad and my laptop. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and comment below if you have any questions or if you want to see any other content.